Uh, I want to uh, do a quick video about um, fasting and the enemy. You know, fasting, whenever God tells you to fast, it's because he see the attack of the enemy. So God will tell you to fast. He will, pro he will propel your mind to fast by any uh, means necessary. What I mean by that is by TV, by somebody talking about it, by him just putting it up on your spirit, by, you know, you constantly seeing the word fasting. So whichever way he gets your ear, listen to him and obey because whenever God tell you to fast, it's because see, he's telling you to fast before the attack take place. He's, he's preparing you. He's saying, okay, I want you to go on this three-day fast. You need to do a 10-day fast. You need to do a 21-day fast. You need to do a 40-day fast. Whatever the amount of days, he's preparing you beforehand. He's This is what God wants to do when if, he, if you obey him when he say fast in the beginning. What God wants to do is to keep you from having to go through the process of being uh, 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 overwhelmed by the attack that means he wants to he, he don't he wants you to be able to walk through that um that flood or that fire just with smooth sailing and what i mean by the flood of the fire when you go through the water you will not be flooded when you go through the fire you won't even smell like smoke you see what i'm saying some of us we lose things uh because we lose our our, our possessions and the enemy attack us in certain areas of our lives and he seemed like he has the victory because the reason why it seemed like he won or he got in and, and knocked you down like that because he did how did he get in and knock you down like that because when he first told you to fast you didn't obey him now i'm not i'm not i'm not um uh, including the troubles and trials that we have to go through as Christians. We all got to suffer. The Bible said when you suffer with Christ, you are going to reign with him. When you suffer for his name's sake, that's a totally different thing. But the but the enemy that's trying to attack you and steal your possessions um in a form that's not that in an illegal form. That means he's coming at you illegally. And what I mean by that is he's trying to um, sneak up on you and destroy you. But the only way he's going to be able to do it is because of your disobedience. See, it's different, different uh, trials and different tests and different struggles. Some of them you have to go through. Some of them you don't. You don't. God said, if you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. He gave us all the blessings in Deuteronomy 28 and 1 through 14. He said, if you obey me, then these things will, will, be, will come up on you as far as your blessings. If you don't obey me, boom, these things will come up on you as far as curses. Some of these things happen because we don't obey God and do what he tell us to do. So those are the things I'm after, the things that, that we don't have to go through. That's what I'm talking about today. And so, when you obey God and fast, then what the attack that the enemy was trying to do, he, he won't even be able to get, he won't even be able to, you won't even bet an eye. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to come out with the victory without, with, you, it, it would be effortless. So the troubles that you, that you go through from not obeying God and starting that fast right away, you won't have to go through those troubles if you obey God and start that fast when he tell you to versus, I'm sort of like, I don't know, kind of, I don't even know how this is coming out, but you know what I mean. I mean, some God, when God tell you to fast, it's for a reason. But what happens is when you don't obey God when he tell you to fast, then you got to go through the extra trouble that you have to go through, uh, that you have to go through. Because you allowed the enemy to come in. So now you got to ask God, how do I get out of this mess? And he going to say, okay, now what, I, what you need to do. He's not going to leave you hanging. He's going to let you know. Go back and do the fast that I told you to do a year ago. Go back and do the fast that I told you to do.
two years ago. Go back and do the fast that I told you to do three months ago. Because when we obey God, some things we just don't have to go through. But in order to get out of that thing that we got ourselves into to because of disobedience, we got to go back and obey God's instructions. So, and some of these things that's, that's happening with your children and some things that your children going through is because you didn't obey God and fast. So some of these attacks that, you're, that you are facing now is because you didn't obey God when he originally told you to fast. He was telling you to fast so that you wouldn't have to go through what you're going through now. But now since you're in it, it's still the same instructions. Fast your way out of it. Because why do, why do I say that? Because that's the instructions that God gave you. You got to obey him in order to get where he wants you to be and where you want to be. So if you obey God when he first tell you to, then the battle is already won and you it, it's effortless. You don't have to be like the Israelites, God. What did God do? The, the Bible said the journey was like around 40 days, but it took them 40 years for each day that they disobeyed. So what I'm saying is let's go ahead and obey God and stop going around the same mountain by being disobedient and rebellious. Get on that fast and start that fast. And not only fasting, whatever God tell you to do, be found doing it. Whatever he tell you to do, do it. Because God's instructions are so simple. We're looking for something so complex. It's not complex. It's so simple. All we have to do is obey. See, remember God's instructions and his wisdom, it confounds the wise. So somebody else, some wise um, uh, person that's wise, you know, according to this world, will come up with this, this huge plan uh, to get out of this mess. And God's plan would be so simple. Just fast. Just pray. Just worship. Just praise. You know, just shut up. Because some things we get ourselves in trouble because we don't be quiet. Be quiet when God tells you to be quiet. That could be the answer to your solution. Shut up. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? So, all I'm telling you to do is if you obey God now by fasting, either if, if um, you're in the mess, go ahead and obey God now. He's going to bring you out of the mess. If he's telling you to fast now, then oh. You know, is this if this this is the clearly the first time you understand him to tell you to fast, get on that fast now. Why? Because he's trying to prevent you from going through something. The enemy is, is coming at you. The enemy is is, is, is launching an attack. Whether it's against your home, your marriage, your finances, your children, your business, or he's trying to block some blessings. So God is trying to let you know now he's warning you, get on this fast because the enemy is coming. And this is the only way you're going to defeat this devil. You know, so you, I'm, I'm quite sure you understand what I'm saying. If you go ahead and obey God now, if he's just now calling you to fast, do it now because it's to prevent something from happening. If you if you already heard him and you didn't obey and now those things are happening, go ahead and obey him and get on this fast now so that he can go on and bring you out of this thing. But you might have to go through some things because of disobedience, but that's okay. Just, just go ahead and obey, fast and pray so that he can bring you out of this thing. Okay. I love you all. Have a blessed day. This joy. God bless.